Hello, in this video I will replace this uh, fan for uh, CPU and I will I will repair this USB port. Let's begin. This laptop it's very easy to tear down. You have these screws that are visible and under these two pads they, they are hidden two more screws. Let's take this out. Now after we take this out, my review for this laptop. After uh, three years of use, it's in very good shape, it's working uh, very good, but uh, it's uh, very very noisy because this uh, fan, it's very slim as you can see and uh, it's very very used. You will see after I will take this down. First of all, let's solve this USB problem. Let's uh, start the laptop. Let's turn on this laptop. laptop doesn't want to power on now let's take down this uh, usb board last time the laptop doesn't want to power up and I hope that's uh, because this problem. Now let's uh, check this connector. That's the ground. That's data minus data plus. And this is 5 volts. As you can hear, there is a short circuit on 5 volts rail. And I believe the problem is one of these two capacitors. Let's take this capacitor out and find out. So what I want it to be a simple task was a very difficult task because uh, this laptop doesn't want to power on anymore and uh, remain on suspend and i took uh, all the devices out ssd wi-fi card and all the connectors the, i took the display out to check if this uh, laptop want to power on again and doesn't want to power on again and that I uh, found the schematic and uh, I checked the schematic and all the parts and now you can see in this first picture that uh, this part with six pin it's uh, one pin it's oxidated and now you can see a picture only with this uh, component now you can see a picture after i took off this uh, part and uh, my opinion is that uh, this uh, oxidation was uh, because uh, inappropriate flux that was used on a previous repair because uh, this uh, square chip was replaced and I am sure that uh, was to use flux with oxidation and not was used flux for SMD PCBs and that's why this uh, 
six pin component was broken. I checked uh, the schematic of this laptop and I found first of all that square chip that's a step up step down controller that power on the laptop and uh, suspend voltages and uh, on uh, you can see now the data sheet of this IC and on uh, 14 pin of this IC there is this uh, four shocky diodes in uh, with six pins and what I've noticed when I searched that part I looked with uh, six pin code but after I checked uh, the codes I noticed that only the first three digit three symbols of the SMB code are relevant and the uh, last one was only the date and other they are not so important and now I have to replace this uh, first of all this uh, six pin uh, chip with Schottky diodes and I am lucky because I have an Asus motherboard this is the step up step down controller and this one it's exactly the same uh, chip as in this motherboard it's a different code but the first three letters are the same I will put a picture with this one and now I will replace and I hope that I am lucky and this will uh, take from from suspend to power on I've replaced this uh, diode now let's zoom I just have to clean the flux that remain so will not uh, oxidate the PCB again I will make another video after I clean it now this is how it looks after I cleaned the flux now let's see if it's working so I have to put uh, back the battery connector now let's check the suspend LED power LED it's off now let's press the power button yes it's working logo bios enter and the fan it's working now let's check this usb port usb port it's working usb port it's working now I will put back the Wi-Fi card and the SSD and I will make the final test. Now let's make the final test. Let's press the power button. Yes, it's working perfect now i just have to put the cover back now let's test the usb yes usb port it's working if you have any questions please put it in a comment and if you made it so far please give a big like thanks for watching see you in my next video bye